What's up, everyone? In today's episode, there's gonna be a lot of action, and without further ado, let's get right into it. Simple, straight. Oh. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now he got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. It gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look, we're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. You sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. Madonna's invested a lot of money in it over the years. So, me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us? He'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can't send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get me. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo oh, is in the man. folder. Oh, man. You boys clear on everything? Oh. Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. Maybe... Maybe Let's Michelle go. and Sam actually have something going on. Because there was like a shot of... Sam's face being really sad, so go see Vinny. I'll meet you here. I don't know, it's just you know, predictions. Heard you in the market for something that goes boom. Yeah, sorry, I gotta take the magazine first. Dime detective. Ooh, dynamite. Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today. <laughs> we have to talk. Get in. Don't go any place yet. Got to hear me out on this. It's about the girl, Michelle. Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. Ah, oh, see. I've been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? When she understands what'll happen otherwise. 
Yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. Make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. Firing tear gas and burning shelter. Michelle. She's the one from the racetrack, right? Tom, that was the last time we're ever going to talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask, and you listened. Gotta leave it there. Okay. Keep your head when you get into the hotel. Find your mark and don't act suspicious. The manager thinks he's untouchable. You can probably walk right up to him. Anything else I should know? Nah. Just don't take all day. A lot of died young, so there can't be much to say about him. When the bomb goes off, I'll do my thing. Got it. What kind of world is it that when you screw up, you get sent to a cat house? Well, I have to clean up your mess at a funeral. You see the justice in that? I see a job I gotta do. Such a professional. Just try to finish a job this time, huh? First time I've been to a church in a while. Well, I'm gonna guess they're still singing the same songs. Last time I went, it was. Same songs I always heard as a kid. Yeah, you're not the religious type. It's the funerals, Tom. That's all it ever is. All that anyone ever wants to do is point guns at the family and shoot. Game point, there were so many funerals, I just stopped going to most of them. They're all boring as hell. Well, that's a shame, seeing as you're always dressed for the occasion. Great gag, Tom. Write that one down. <laughs> Thanks. I'll do that. Great gag, Tom. Now, weddings. Weddings are less boring. I'd go to one of them. You working on that? Uh, guess so. Good. Because I've given up waiting on Polly. Guy couldn't get a broad to stick to him if they went swimming through glue. Ah, uh, he'll find someone. Tom. If his own mother has given up hope, then you can give up hope, too. Here's your stuff. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You, too. So, we gotta make Michelle disappear. But I somewhat have a feeling that Michelle, even if we did this one correctly it's gonna bite us back for some reason I don't know, just speculation but we, you know, who knows, we'll see how the story goes you behave yourself in here Hey, handsome. You here for a girl, drinks, or a mix of the two? A girl. And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl? I can help you with. Come through. Find the girl you like, and you can both get better acquainted upstairs. There's no rush, so get a drink, relax, and enjoy yourself. Hey, good afternoon, sir. Uh, okay, so... Come through when you're ready. I need to talk to the manager. Yeah, head straight through to the lounge. You're with our uh, new business partners, I assume. Okay, I need to talk to Michelle first, though. So you work at the upper floors. You looking for a good time? Come this way, sweetie. No, I'm not looking for a good time. No, nah, I'm looking for a friend. Michelle. Sure you are. Come to my room and tell me all about it. I just want to talk. You know, I get to hear that a lot. I bet you're not like all the other guys either, are you? Nah, not really. What is this? So we talking or what? You know Michelle? She's in 208. Get out! Sorry for the intrusion. Get out! Get out! 208. Oh, up there. Uh, 
the family shell first before we build this whole place up. Michelle. What's it to you? A fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. Well, the Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping cars with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I won't never open my mouth again. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You scared then? Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're gonna find you with two in the head. Do you understand? <laughs> Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is gonna blow soon. Gotta cue the manager. Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square. Okay, I don't know if I blow my cover for that. Probably not yet, so. What is this? Shall you in room 208 all day tomorrow with Morello's guys? I'll be downstairs in the launch sending them up. They get what they want as much as they want. You complain, you lose your place. There are plenty of more girls like you. Came up to my office on top floor in that gold. Oh, fuck, you know. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I gotta go to the lounge and uh, kill him. Let me get down there. Hey, lounge your business. I'm not getting in there. <laughs> I kinda wanna bust in to see what's gonna happen though. <laughs> but it's uh, YouTube monetization. Not gonna do that. Okay, let's go to the lounge and kill the sun effort. Bitch. Oh, I'm coming for you. The friendship between the Corleone Hotel and the Morup. Oh, oh God, God, you get put, put down. down. Take it cover. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Wait. That was close. You grab the shotgun. Get a better shot. Go. Get some cover. No. I whiffed. I need some health though. No, I'm not reading a note. Oh, I got a health pack. Here. Thanks, that's, that's really helpful.
Damn. What the hell is that? Let's see. Can't see anything. What the? Oh. Well, we did it. We no. Mr. Morello, the following patrons may be of interest. I have the details, just read them. So, city councils and congressmen, in office officials, the Federal Tax Office, the Director of the Prison Service, Prohibition, Prohibition Bill, Chief Mission Number of Associates, our suite of our girls, and uh, I found a pillow talk. We'll keep an ear out of your interest. What's up, please? Uh, missing regular appointment last week. Urgent family matters. Please regret what confirmed termination of our agreement. Mr. Cirelli, Cirelli has been a wonderful business partner over the years. I'm most grateful for his support and your wise counsel. Please find with this massive a return of Mr. Cirelli's investment along with the hundred dollars as a gesture of goodwill. Our doors are always open. We remember our friends here at the Colonel. Cornel, Cornel. Let's get the heck out of here. Damn it. Tommy, you gotta be quick, bro. Can make this. <laughs> it made it because of the blast, bro. He didn't die? What? Come on, let's go. Oof. Okay, sometimes it doesn't run for some reason. For some reason. Sometimes, I don't know why, but it doesn't really why. Whew. 
no we haven't made it to the church. Fallen, we can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving son, a protective brother, and a loyal friend. And for those virtues, we pray that his soul will find salvation. And now I believe one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. I, uh... I just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but... I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beat. So I don't know how I'm good. What are you doing? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy. Oh, I messed up. Tommy really messed up this time, big time. How do I get up there? Oh, there. Ooh. Probably not the smartest idea. Down there! Shoot before it goes in the cover! Get him off my ass! You could have stopped all this days ago! I got him, I got him, I got him. Stop peeking, fools! Of God. These men were criminals, Father. Thieves. Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? None of us, Father. You bastard. If you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. No more bloodshed, please! I'm sorry, Father. <sighs> Consider this an act of divine retribution. <sighs> that make us even? Sure. For now. For your trouble, Father. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. <laughs> when the cops come, you tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Jesus. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked into church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all the- Hell. Guys. Come on. We gotta go. Oh. 
didn't check the place. Don't bring the cops to with you. So we have to basically. Well, today didn't turn out like I expected. Just drive. We'll end up in the back. Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, it was messy, but I got everything done. Everything? Yeah. Everything. Pick that one down. Are they giving up yet? I don't think so. They must have called out every cop in the city. It's pretty difficult. Oh, now I see a point that I can, go, I can use. Okay. It's got hair on top. Oh, I should ran with you. Come on, Tommy, lose him. I'm trying. Don't you see it, bro? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, good. So. I think we can go through here. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> that one car blocked them all. What the? What the fuck? Killing you. I'm sorry, Sam. Bye. Just get ready. I'm coming back. <laughs> oh, man, I suck at driving. I think we lost him. Yeah. Go back to patrols. Okay. We lost him. Thank Christ. Gonna be trying to forget today for a long time. You're telling me. Let's get back to the bar. We gotta lie low. The way this all went down, we gotta lie low for weeks. Ah, the priest will keep his trap shut. Don't worry. Morello got a bloody nose. You and Polly are in the clear for whacking the laddie's son. Boss will be pleased. Thanks again, Sam, for helping me out back there. I thought my time was up. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know. But when you come that close to biting it, Christ, it's something. Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. Jesus Christ, Tommy. You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know, I could take you in right now, put your ball in bars, tell you all in gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Morello. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? 
That's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. When I recovered some account books from Morello's offices, 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need didn't catch on? Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do except drink, have a few laughs. Every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. A Coletti, a dance consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight.